Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Christy is off. The mental health evaluation is back now for the Syracuse woman accused of killing her daughter, five-year-old Nefertiti Harris. A doctor deeming 29-year-old Latasha Mott competent to testify in her own defense, which was the required step before sending the case to the Onondaga County Grand Jury, which will now consider murder charges against her. Jurors will learn and hear how she lied to the school district about her daughter's whereabouts. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan asked school administrators what they did to track down the girl. It's the chief engagement officer's job to make sure kids are in school more difficult in a city district. For starters, you have a lot more students to keep track of. That would be the first issue. Secondly, you, you know we're the highest poverty impoverished. The district calls families of absent students on the first day. And second, if truancy continues, a group called the Impact Team goes out looking for them. And that's a matter of finding families, finding students, figuring out why they're not attending, and then providing them with the necessary support. Nobody knew she had been killed, but Nefertiti Harris never showed for a single day of school once her mom did the paperwork, transferring her from McKinley Brighton to Meacham Elementary. And then they were told out of state. Well, it was noticed, first and foremost. Um, but secondly, we kindergarten attendance is not a state requirement. So if a parent decides they no longer want to send their child to kindergarten, we don't really have any jurisdiction over that. The school district explains that oftentimes calls home aren't answered. Getting someone on the phone like a parent is considered a success. And that was the case for Nefertiti. Her mom provided answers, but lied. We weren't given a district, a particular school in Georgia. So that's why we kept having to go back and saying, okay, we know she's in Georgia. Where? You never got the information? We did not. When the district can't verify a parent's explanation, its last step is to call CPS. For this case, the district would only say the family was reported at some point, but not specify if it was after Nefertiti was missing. The school district has reviewed its processes and what we've done in this case, and we're, we're, we've done what we needed to do. Those cases make it they really punctuate the need for us to do what we're doing and to do it to the best of our abilities. The next child's life could depend on it. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. The chief engagement officer wants all community members, not just parents and grandparents, but neighbors too, to encourage kids to attend school every single day. Yeah.